what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel now in the forums and on the Facebook groups basically everywhere you look people have been asking what is the best weapon to be using in this thorn PvP quest the one where you have to get the void energy or use hand cannons well for me I personally use the Ike loose hand cannon but there are a lot of other things out there for you to use now if you're using a hand cannon there's going to be two options I'm going to give you. If you're using something like the Ace of Spades now that you just normally use in regular PvP, it is a 140 rounds per minute, three taps to the head. I would recommend the Kindled Orchard. Now the Kindle Orchard is also a 140 rounds per minute gun, it will 3 tap to the head and it's one of those ones that has the nasty recoil that a lot of, I'd say console players prefer not to use, they usually lean more towards the precision hand cannons much like the Trust. Now these hand cannons are the 180 round per minute, it is a 4 tap to the head, but they have much less recoil and are a lot easier for those console players to use. Now if these are the hand cannons you're using daily in the PvP, I would recommend the Ikelos HC, which is a extremely good hand cannon, not a lot of people use it, but it is the same thing as a Trust, it is a 4 tap 180 rounds per minute precision frame hand hand cannon. But as I said guys, you don't have to just use a hand cannon. You can use anything that does void damage. So what you should be asking yourself is what you use most. Do you use a pulse rifle? Do you use fusion rifles? And then try to pick something you use to go along with that weapon type. Now if you're a pulse rifle user when it comes to PvP, I would recommend three different weapons for you. First being the Last Perdition, which I think is possibly the best one in the game. Now Shax has this right now if you're up high enough of a level. If not, you can just pull it out of your collections. But the one Shax has is actually a pretty decent rule for PvP. And next would be the inaugural address, another extremely good PvP pulse rifle. It does come with that kill clip. Now it is a 3 tap to the head, but with kill clip activated it is a 2 tap weapon. Then last but not least guys, I can't forget to mention the Graviton Lance, which was the meta for the longest time until the Forsaken update, but is still a really good pulse rifle for anything PvP. Now I don't want to really tell you which one of these three to use, you have to kind of decide for yourself, try them out, see which one best fits your playing style, and then stick with it. Now for auto rifle guys, I would just recommend not even using one, there's no good void ones, and really there isn't exactly a reason to be using an auto rifle in PvP these days, there's so many better things out there that you could be using. And the same goes for scout rifle guys. Let's just be honest, scout rifles are just absolutely terrible for anything PvP. I mean, Gambit, they're okay because you can pick people from a distance, but in PvP, they just don't do enough damage to actually take somebody out that normally can get behind cover before you can kill them. So let's just skip over scout rifles altogether. So now if you're not the best PvP player and you're not sure what you want to use, if all else fails, pull out the Telesto. I mean, they did nerf it, but it is still extremely OP and it's still really easy to get a kill with it. So go ahead, pull it out, get those void kills. Who cares what everybody else says, just get the quest done. Now, if you don't want to be the guy that's running around with the Telesto, the Arental FR4 is still another great fusion rifle that you could be using. Still has some good range, can piss off a lot of shotgun players. So, what did I say? Screw the shotgun, go use these fusion rifles, and go piss them off. Now, what about the heavy slot? Well, I would only recommend one thing here, and that's going to be the hammerhead. Now, rocket launchers did get a buff, and they are actually starting to make a comeback in PvP, but I still would say the hammerhead is your better choice, simply because of the ammo capacity. Now, most players, if they run a rocket launcher, they're only going to pick up two shots for it, and for the hammerhead, I would say it's quite easy to get four or five kills from just one ammo pickup. Now if you are going to use an actual rocket launcher, I would recommend the Bad Omens. Try to find one that has tracking. If you don't have one that has tracking, the Regnar B 
is a hockey precision type rocket launcher and all of the hockey precision rocket launchers do come with a tracking module. Yes, it is a blue rocket launcher, but still a really good one. Now, it doesn't say, looking at the perks, that it has tracking, but if you would hover over the actual type of the weapon, you would see that it shoots a small tracking missile. Now, that's all the weapons I'm actually going to recommend for doing this quest step. So, that's all I'm going to say in this video. Now, I am going to let the Crucible match play out, and as you can see, I am using the new Last Perdition pulse rifle and I can't say it's new it was in year one it's just returning with random rolls and still my favorite pulse rifle and has always been my favorite pulse rifle in the game so enjoy and as always guys thanks for watching if this video helped you out go ahead and give it a like feel free to share go ahead and shoot me a comment if you have any questions below newcomers to the channel hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more d2 content like this coming out daily and as always guys have a great day and that's why we have fire teams Three minutes. Fight together. Nothing. Now you're fighting with heart, God. Only one minute left. Thirty seconds remaining. I could not ask for a better victory.
You showed no remorse. That's how you should be on a battlefield. 